So I have managed to complete Bannerlord 100% of the achievements secured. Jackie Fish has got that bag and it only took me a thousand hours. Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to some more Mountain Blade to Bannerlord. Today we're going to be talking about the brand new beta patch, information about the Steam Workshop, as well as multiplayer custom servers and full mod tools. So yesterday we got the 1.8 patch coming out of beta. Not much really changed in that. We, we basically got the fixes to the, the major crash in the settlements that were like when they leveled up to level 2, it was causing major crashes if you just went in the vicinity of that. So that's gone ahead and been sorted and they've also gone ahead and changed up the AI calculations when it talks about defecting to a different faction. I know that was a lot of people's major complaint about 1.8 was the crashing near the cities and also the AI the, uh, the AI defecting to a different faction just almost immediately, which was obviously quite stupid. But that has now been fixed and 1.8 is now officially out of beta. I recommend if you are, are currently on the or you're opted into one of the betas, you go ahead and just go back to None that'll make the game a little bit more stable and you can go ahead and get stuck. And I don't think it broke too many mods either because it was just uh, pretty much just a, a fix rather than anything else. So we, besides 1.8 coming out of beta, which is great news, we are obviously gearing up for a console release. The rumors are saying it's going to come out on October the 24th or 23rd. And we, of course, have Gamescom next week, uh, which we'll, we'll get way more information about. But the you know, Battle Lord are at Gamescom. Uh, I'm pretty sure Prime Matter, the guys, porting it will be having a slot in the, the major game show so we'll be watching that and obviously keeping a close eye on any extra battle of news but they have always said on the forums at least that they do want to coincide the console release with the official release of the game coming out of early access and I feel like we're definitely gearing up towards that. So over on the Steam Dis oh, Discover Steam uh, discussion page, we did get this message right here, which went ahead and basically showed, or Callum uh, said that who is would be commu main community manager for Tail Worlds said that the Steam Workshop support is coming dot 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 very soon. That obviously does definitely suggest that the game will be coming out of early access. If you're going to be updating the game constantly, there's no need for a Steam Workshop because every mod will just break and be outdated and be in a complete mess. But yes, we are getting Steam Workshop support, which my god will be amazing. The amount of people asking me for my mod list, now I can just compile it into a playlist and be like, there you go, download this. It's going to be amazing. And that's so exciting. This is something that people have wanted for so goddamn long. So it's great that we are getting the idea that it is coming very soon. Not just soon, very soon as well. Um, so I'm wondering if that's going to be the next beta patch. Because we don't currently have a beta patch for the game. We currently have 1.8 and nothing else. So I wonder if we're just going to be jumping from 1.8 to 1.9. We're going to be getting uh, the Steam Workshop alongside that would be pretty goddamn insane and super, super hype. I think it is very much looking like we're going to be getting a 2.0 for the full release. So again, edging closer and closer towards that, uh, which is super exciting. So the fact that Callum said that and specified very soon is always exciting. Normally, they do tend to not go ahead and like... I guess get people's hopes up and say something's coming really soon if they're not sure that it is at least on the way. Now, obviously, things could kind of pipe up, but I doubt it's going to be anything that major to really reduce that. So that was the Steam Workshop support. Now let's talk about modding tools because on this 1.8 patch uh, notes that we've got, some people are asking about multiplayer custom servers because they have kind of been floating around and really being tested with a few kind of loyal clan, uh, clan clans on the private server stuff. They've been hosting events and other stuff like that and uh, someone asked oh, oh when are we getting the multiplayer servers and uh, Callum again said that we are very very close to that uh, which again super exciting that you know they're really specifying that but you know they are coming in and you know they're, they're actively working on this stuff and it is like not that far away and now again this could almost be like months two months away but still pretty exciting nonetheless so the custom server code uh, will be getting released so people can start hosting their own custom servers just freely which is very exciting and then someone else asked uh, they were hoping to hear about multiplayer mod modding support and again uh, Callum went ahead and responded saying this should come along with the server files which are as we, we saw coming very or they're almost there with it again 
almost there could mean a lot of things, but to me, that, that's kind of the same as saying about the Steam Workshop as well. It would definitely make sense to release that code alongside the Steam Workshop announcement so people can start making multiplayer mods. Uh, and then all you have to do is go ahead and click on, oh, I'm going to subscribe to the Star Wars multiplayer mod, and then we can dive into a server and, and play with that. That kind of makes a lot of sense to have that co-inciding alongside one another. Uh, so yeah, that's really exciting, honestly. I think the multiplayer has definitely been the uh, the lackluster kind of child of Bannerlord at the moment. They've been really focusing on multiplayer, which has 100% come a long way from the two years ago it came into early access. And now the fact that we're getting these, we're getting so close to a Steam Workshop, we're getting so close to these multiplayer tools and also the server details being released or server code being released so they can start hosting them and stuff like Oasis servers and other things like that. The game is gearing up and I think it's very obvious that I, I, the game is imminently going to be coming out of early access within the next three, four months. I, I think it's very likely. Uh, Gamescon's going to be very interesting because we are definitely getting console there because they've already said that the console version of Bannerlord will be playable at Gamescon. So if you are there, you can go drop down by their booth and play it. And, you know, Prime Matter do have a big slot in there. I'm not 100% sure if Bannerlord or Tailworlds have a different slot in the game, in the big game reveal show. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if they did. I'll definitely probably try and message some of the community members to see if they do so I can kind of figure it out and I'll let you guys know if it's worth tuning into or not. But overall, just really exciting stuff. 1.8 was an absolutely a banger of a patch. If you guys haven't played it, I highly recommend you go check it out and start playing. Also, now that we have 1.8 out of beta and it looks like it's going to be something that's just going to be plonked down and then we're going to move on to the next beta, no more big changes to it. We can start having big mod lists being developed, stuff like diplomacy, servers as soldier, all that stuff can start getting like just kind of completely updated to it and left alone, which is super good because yeah, 1.8 has been a bit rough with all the kind of patches and hot, fix, hot fixes that have come in and, and really ruined up the game. So I'll be definitely creating a nice little mod list. So if you're looking forward to starting a 1.8 game, maybe stick around uh, the channel and look out for my uh, yeah my bigger mod list, uh, which will be really, really goddamn dope. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of it down below in the comments. Is this exciting? Are you excited for multiplayer? Are you excited for the additional kind of 1.8? Are you excited for console? Do let me know down below in the comments personally. I'm just really excited for multiplayer. I really want to start getting stuck into like persistent worlds. I want to start getting stuck into, uh, you know, kind of proper line battles and all the mods like Star Wars, Napoleonic, that stuff that really made Warband what it is. And even full, full invasion, like imagine a full invasion mod would be so good. And I know the developers of that are looking to do it they just obviously can't do anything without the without the code and the, the server stuff as well so when that releases i will 100 percent be covering it be sure to go ahead and drop a like and a comment down below if you want to see more Bannerlord new stuff then just yeah let me know whenever patches drop or more information drops i'll be sure to cover it i'll see you guys in the next one